Thank you for purchasing the Cushman Tug. This vehicle has been designed to operate in a warehouse or factory setting with semi-smooth floors, roads, and ramps. Cushman's goal is to design and manufacture safe utility vehicles, but the maintenance and performance of the vehicle relies largely on the operator. So we want you to take the time to understand the Cushman Tug, its equipment, and how to use it safely. Use a dedicated 15 amp circuit for each battery charger. Do not allow other appliances to be plugged into the receptacle when the charger is in operation. Warning: This vehicle must be charged in a well-ventilated, non-hazardous area that is free of flammable liquids and items. Charge the vehicle in an area that is free from flame or spark. Pay particular attention to natural gas or propane, water heaters, and furnaces. The controls, meters, and switches consist of a key switch, direction selector, headlight switch, state of charge meter, onboard charger, accelerator pedal, brake pedal, parking brake, brake fluid reservoir, cargo bed tie-down holes, headlight available as an option or standard on the Type EE vehicles, tail light, and hour meter. The tug utilizes a seat switch to ensure the operator is properly seated before the vehicle will move. Note the seat is adjustable for your comfort and can move forward and backward. To start the vehicle, make sure that the direction selector is in correct position before attempting to start the vehicle. Put pressure on the brake pedal and place the key in the key switch and turn to the on position. To reduce the risk of injury or vehicle damage, it is important to prevent excessive rollback when starting the vehicle on a hill. Place foot on brake pedal and release the park brake. Do not release the service brake until the motor has started. Move the direction selector to the direction desired and press the accelerator pedal to start the vehicle. If the direction selector is in the reverse position, a warning signal will sound. Check the area behind the vehicle before operating in reverse and always bring the vehicle to a complete stop before shifting the direction selector. Keep feet, legs, hands, and arms inside the vehicle at all times. On steep hills, it is possible for vehicles to pick up speed. To prevent loss of vehicle control and possible serious injury, speeds should be limited to no more than the maximum speed on level ground. Travel directly up or down inclines. Do not travel across the face of any incline, ramp, grade, or slope. The recommended ramp grade and side tilt is 25% or 14 degrees maximum. The vehicle has a turning clearance diameter of 108 inches and an intersecting IO clearance of 55 inches. Sudden sharp turns, unbalanced or top-heavy loads can cause upset. Cargo must be secured to the platform. Never overload the vehicle. See the identification decal on the kick panel for rated capacity. Position loads carefully so they cannot shift or tip over suddenly. Distribute loads evenly over the rear area. Keep loads low to avoid top heaviness. Always reduce speed in wet areas and avoid rough terrain. Do not tow the vehicle above 12 miles per hour. Avoid sudden stops and starts. Before leaving the vehicle, set the direction selector to the neutral position. Turn the key to vertical off position and remove. Apply hand or foot brake not automatically applied. If a malfunction occurs or adjustment is needed, do not use. Have all work performed by authorized personnel. It is your responsibility to keep all labels or decals and instructional literature legible and intact. Replacement labels, decals, and literature are available from the factory. The vehicle includes two key safety features, a seat switch and a thermal circuit breaker. The switch is under the seat, 
attached to the seat deck panel. This switch allows the vehicle to function only when the operator is properly seated. Should the operator stand or leave the seat during operation, the vehicle will stop. If the vehicle is shut down by the switch, the operator will need to reset the direction selector to neutral before pressing the accelerator. The thermal circuit breaker prevents overloading of the drive motor. The breaker automatically resets after approximately 20 seconds. An audible click will sound when the breaker resets. Should the vehicle be stopped by the opening of the circuit breaker, turn the vehicle off to avoid an accidental start when the breaker resets. If the circuit breaker should open while driving on an incline, immediately apply the service and parking brake to prevent loss of vehicle control. Do not operate until the problem is solved. Many vehicles are used for a variety of tasks beyond the original intended use of the vehicle. Therefore, it is impossible to anticipate and warn against every possible combination of circumstances that may occur. No warnings can take the place of good common sense and prudent driving practices. Good common sense and prudent driving practices do more to prevent accidents and injury than all the warnings and instructions combined. The manufacturer strongly suggests that the owner-operator read this entire manual paying particular attention to the cautions and warnings contained therein. It is further recommended that employees and other operators be encouraged to do the same.